Turn back to Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. Again, I'll remind you what it says. These six things the Lord hates. Seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift and running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and the one who sows discord among brethren. These verses speak to me. We in the church are very loud and, as I said, proclaiming the sins of others outside the body as abominations. But here we're faced with a mirror into our own lives, and it's disturbing if we're honest. Note here in the last part, feet that are swift in running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among the brethren. I've seen it in churches. I've seen that person running around and just having the pastor for lunch, if you will, and uh, destroying the unity of the body by running their mouths. I have been in error here in the past. Have you? Have you carried a tale, true or false, that breeds discord among the church? I've heard many throwing stones at Jesus by throwing stones at his body. It says here, God finds that detestable. Instead, we're called to something better. Colossians 3, 12 through 14 said, As God's chosen people, dearly love, clothe yourselves with compassion. Toward those who don't deserve it, right? Kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with one another. Forgive one another, as the Lord forgave you. Over all these virtues, he says, put on love, which binds everybody together in perfect unity. If you find there's someone you cannot forgive, then you're grieving the Spirit of God. Forgiveness doesn't mean they did it right. It just means that you're leaving their judgment to God. Maybe we make those harsh judgments because we'd rather have them pay. Well, you be careful what sort of judgment you judge by because you will also be judged by the same standard. We read that passage in Colossians 3 and we compare it with Proverbs 6. I want you to do that too. Reread it. Colossians 3 and then Proverbs 6. And ask yourself, am I a builder up of others or a tear down of others? Do I sow discord? Or do I work to build unity? You ponder that, Pastor Steve.